Firstly, um, the team is now qualified for the semi-finals of the World Cup. Can you give us an idea, I guess, um, yeah, how that feels for you, for you and the team? Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty special moment, I guess, the, the way the Black Caps have been playing over the last sort of three, four, five World Cups and being in a stage to compete for, you know, finals and, you know, being able to uh, be in sort of the knockout stages is a, is a special sort of moment. And I guess as a kid, you always dream of playing in big knockout games. So, you know, I'm, I'm really excited. Specifically about being here in Bengaluru, a couple of games, you've managed to qualify here. Obviously, much has been made about your parents' link with the city. What's it been like for you to come back here and play World Cup career? Yeah, it's, it's pretty special. I guess a, a place I've visited a lot as a kid and spent a lot of time in and had some great memories with some, some good mates. So, I mean, it's always nice to connect with family when I'm over here and I guess made, made it special being able to qualify while playing our games in Bangalore and look, that, beautiful, that pitch is beautiful to bat on and hopefully, uh, you know, there's more tours here you, in the future. Cool. And just quickly, uh, one of the team mantras is sort of staying level. When you do have a bit of success, I imagine it's quite easy in this environment to kind of keep yourself in check and the boys sort of keep you in check as well. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I think that's the, that's the amazing thing about this team is once they, well, you know, if you do start getting ahead of yourself, they pull you back. But no, nah, no, nah, that, that's the thing. Or it's led by the senior guys and the senior guys, no matter what they've achieved, you know, the Southies, the Bolts, the Williamsons, you know, what they've achieved, they're still, you know, human beings at the end of the day. And that's that's such like, I guess that's why they're huge role models and that's why I aspire to be like them. You know, they, they're very humble and they keep their feet on the ground and, you know, react to what's in front of them. So um, it's been pretty cool. Oh, and just a quick word. Uh you mentioned what dreams are made of a World Cup semi-final against India, and India is probably right up there. But a word on that and prospects? Yeah, I think if you, I mean, we're even thinking about the last two World Cups, you're you're playing like the most pinnacle games. You know, you play against Aussie MCG, then you go Lords against England in the final, and then now you're playing India at one kids. So three amazing fixtures. You know, it's uh, awesome to have the experience of the guys who've done it before. And I think you know, you dream of it, you're playing against a full crowd against India who've gone unbeaten at one kid a ground with so much history. So I mean, we you know, we'll, we'll stay level. We'll we'll try our best. And you know, we know you can't win every game of cricket, and you know, you might lose them, or you can win every game. So but well, we'll see how it all plays out. This is extra time. Extra time.